Frosh Week. There's no other time of year like it. So far, it's been pretty amazing. I'm pretty psyched for the first year of university. It seems like a loud party, but Frosh Week events at York University are dry. They have been since 2003, the double cohort year. These days, many first-year students are underage. No alcohol at any of our programming, and students who have consumed or over-intoxicated actually are banned from the remainder of Frosh Week, so they have their bracelets cut. Um, and they can't go uh, to the rest of the events. In the past, Frosh Week often meant pub crawls and drunken parties. Universities are trying to change that. Acadia University in Nova Scotia recently banned alcohol from dorm rooms. In 2011, a student died after passing out at a Frosh Week party. Queen's University has done the same. There were two drinking-related deaths in 2010. I do think that we need to set some, some real guidelines for this age group, and I think that uh, I won't get rid of it, but I think it's it's educating them. And Experts say 30 to 70 percent of undergrads binge drink every weekend. It's still an issue because kids still have access to it and the culture hasn't really shifted just yet. York began a new awareness initiative. All of our orientation leaders this year, so 900 plus, have gone through a mandatory alcohol education training. At some universities, upper year students who are orientation leaders have to sign a contract. Here at York University, they have to agree to not consume alcohol or illicit drugs throughout orientation week. You go to these parties and everyone is sober and everyone is like having an amazing time dancing around. Most first year students say they don't mind. It kind of gives everyone to get a chance to know the real person and um, I don't know, it's, it's a safer environment I think. For me, I don't need to have fun with alcohol. Jennifer Palisok, Global News.